Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Nagbabalik tayo sa Copa Paulino Alcantara dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium. Ikatlong laro ngayong gabi sa pagitan ng Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC at ng Stallion Laguna FC. Ako nga po pala si Jamie De La Cruz. Pagpasensya nyo na ang aking boses ngayong araw. Opening ng FIBA kahapon, present po tayo pero hindi tayo mawawala sa Copa Paulino Alcantara. At para umalalay kay Tito J sa ating commentary ngayong gabi, Debut ng aking best friend, ng aking kaibigan, Glenn Casas. Glenn, kamusta ngayong gabi? Ito, uh, naghahanda na rin dahil maki- mukhang magiging magandang pakbakan po today. Well, nabangkit mo na nga magandang pakbakan pero bago ang lahat, simula natin ang starting lineups ng Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Wala masyadong pagbabago sa lineups ng Davao Aguilas FC. Same formation with 4-3-3. Cart and Richard Talarok, of course, one thing to look forward to as well as Paulo Bugas. Over the last few games, Glenn, ano masasabi mo sa nilalaro ng Davao? Well, they have actually been uh, quite impressive in their uh, debut. Kasi parang uh, hindi, if they're starting to shake off their ass, nakikita mo naman ang ganda ng mga naging results nila. Uh, currently, they are, if I'm not mistaken, unbeaten in their current run. Well, tama ka dyan, no? Pupunta naman tayo dito sa kupo ng Ines Stallion, Laguna FC. Pangalawang laro nila ngayon sa Copa Paulino Alcantara since their return. First game nila, 6-1 win. Hat-trick para kay Finn McDaniel ngayon. Titignan natin ang starting lineups ng Stallion, Laguna FC. Siyempre, bilang naka-hat-trick dito si Finn McDaniel, eh, hindi siya makawala sa starting lineups. Gagaya nga na nakikita natin. Of course, our team captain, Matthew Nieras, is also in the starting lineups. Hyson Pepito at na, nakita na nila yung draw nila sa AFC Cup so mas gaganahan sila ngayon dito sa magiging laro nila of course coming off the bench meron mga tinitingnan players with Craig Bonanken, Jordan Jervis Charlie Beaton, Charles Pickering nandyan din si Zachary Ford na lumipat from Harley Manila FC papunta dito sa Stallion Laguna FC ano namang masasabi mo ngayon sa Stallion Glenn? Yung pagdating sa Stallion naman we're always looking forward to their physicality alam naman natin na when it comes to being physical they're well drilled so ito magiging magandang uh, matchup to kasi dito natin makikita ngayon kung gano ba talaga ka prepared si Davao Aguilas when it comes to the more experienced the more uh, veteran in this particular league the time to step up well iririsk ng Davao ang ang top spot ngayon sa group C sa kanilang laban kontra Stallion FC at titingnan natin kung ano mangyayari over the last 5 games na nagtapat ang Davao at ang Stallion nung nasa Philippines Football League pa ang Davao at well uh, sa Copa 5-0 win para sa Davao 3-0 naman para sa Stallion and then one nil ulit para sa Davao. So they have the advantage, kung sasabihin natin, in terms of historical figures. Pero ibang players na yung mga nandito. Let's see how things will pan out. We have kickoff with Davao Aguilas FC starting to play from left to right wearing their white kits. Meanwhile, Stalin Laguna FC will be defending from right to left with their blue with a shade of pink. Bago magsimula ang laro, um, Glenn, nakita natin kanina dito, no? the head coach of the Philippine Ascals, Coach Hans Michael Weiss, nabanggit niya sa atin na he was able to watch a couple of games earlier on at um, all that he wants us to do is pagbigyan natin yung mga players, pagbigyan natin yung teams dito sa Copa, especially sa Philippines Football League na mag-grow para sooner rather than later makita natin sila sa national squad. Agree ako dyan because eh, hindi naman talaga overnight na bigla na lang nilang magigain or ma-acquire yung required skills at sila. Kailangan nyo ng practice, kailangan nyo ng competitive games tulad dito. Early attack coming from Davao or rather from Stallion pero makukuha ng Davao yung bola. They will have a throw in this time. Medyo malalim sa side ng Stallion but they do have key figures in terms of Stallion Laguna FC. And just si JV Calocaran who's playing fantastically on that left back position ngayon for Stallion. So medyo mahihirapan itong sila Bugas and sila Cartalarok na gamitin itong right side ng pitch nila. But let's see how things will pan out. Stallion right now umatake. Makukuha na Stallion na Guna FC. Or rather Dava umatake ngayon. Sending it to the right side for Paolo Bugas. Bugas dribbling past one. Takes a strike. Pero dederecho lang yung attempt niya yun para kay Pipito Hyson. Yeah, masyadong, uh, masyadong niya minadali yun eh. He should have waited for uh, additional players pa si Kuro and made a good pass. Wow. 
Stalyo naman ngayon ang gagawa ng atake. Nomura, their forward. Nakita natin dito si Finn McDaniel was led into a left winger position to give space for Nomura up front. And let's see kung ano mangyari. Oh, what a lovely move from that was Cartalarok. Opening on the right side. Makikita natin ngayon with Clarino on the right side. Pero makukuha ng oh. Stallion. There is a foul against Davao on that sequence. So free kick for Stallion Laguna. Pepito to take. Malamang he's gonna send this one long. Stallion nasa atake ng Mura against the goalkeeper. Oh, collision with the goalkeeper. That's not what we want to see. But Gumbalio was really brave in that effort to get the ball from thin air. Talagang uh, you really wanted to see that kind of uh, goalkeeping because he really doesn't want it to end up in the wrong place. Davao ngayon ang may possession ng bola. So far, nag nagpapakiramdaman pa ang dalawang sides na to. Bugas ngayon ang atake para sa Davao pero masyadong malakas yung pasa galing sa likod. Okay, go kick naman. Here it comes. Ah, he opted to take it short. Long ball ngayon para sa Stallion Laguna. Nomura contra dalawang players cleared the way pero nandiyan pa rin ang pressure dito nila tinatry iprobe yung uh, yung laro eh. they're starting to uh, feel the, uh, the, the defense by trying to uh, get Nomura into a good spot Stallion keeping the ball and now Davao Aguilas. Putting it out. Free kick. Davao Aguilas starting from the back. OJ Clarino making that pass. Finding space on the right side. Yeah, Angeles was trying to get through those defenders, but he wasn't able to. Davao ngayon ang gagawa ng chance na dito sa throw-in na to with uh, Clarino. Sends the ball forward for Angeles, looking for one of his teammates. And may foul na itatawag ang ating referee dito sa ating sequence. Definitely the, definitely the physicality that we've been expecting Stallions to show. Medyo nervy yung moments natin dito in sa ating uh, first five minutes of the game. Shaky start for both sides looking for openings. Pero so far, Davao has been incisive enough in terms of their passing, in terms of their dribbling. Tingnan natin kung anong isasagot ngayon ng Stallion. From the looks of things, it's like uh, Davao Aguilas is the one who's uh, really pressing the issue here. Davao uh, losing it in the midfield. Making that pass. Oh, kailangan nilang bumalik. Playing from the back. Stallion Laguna now trying to opt for their right side. Who will they find? Missed opportunity for Stallion. Babalik ngayon ang bola dito sa Davao. Aguilas, UMAC FC. Six minutes into this game, nil-nil so far. Stalin was looking for that opportunity, pero nakukuha ng Davao yung rhythm na ginagawa ng Stalin Naguna FC. They're gonna switch the play to the right with Cart Talaro. Cart, long ball forward looking for Yannick Tuason, but he's gonna get caught by the offside flag. 
Yeah, he was trying to make that run a little bit too early. Medyo napagay yung timing ng konti. Pero alam mo, that was a really good move. Great intention from Kart Talarok to send the ball forward for Yannick Tuazon, who's really wanting to do well in this game. He played with Stalin Laguna before. Now he's with Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Well, that should give him at least an edge in terms of knowing what the uh, Stallion Laguna can offer. Galeana sends it inside looking for his teammates. Nomura with a strike! Nomura with a good strike! And he delivers! Great first goal for Stallion Laguna FC. That's Nomura who buried that goal. Keeper had no chance. It was too close. Let's take a look at the leap replay. Galeana with a great cross inside the box. Finn McDaniel left it for Nomura to utilize. And Nomura did convert on that play. It's 1-0 for Stallion Laguna FC in their encounter against Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Yeah, that was a lovely, lovely flick there in the volley. It was sweetly struck. On target, definitely a goal. 1-0 now for Stallion Laguna FC, one of the representatives of the Philippines in the AFC Cup. They will be having a tough group in the AFC Cup in their debut. But things are really looking well for the Laguna-based booters. It's actually against the run of play. If you've noticed, talagang kanina pa nagpa-pound on the pressure yun si, ano eh, si Davao Aguilas. But then again, surprise, surprise. Guess who's attacking here? This is where Stallion really flourishes in terms of their counter-attacks. Ganto yung pinakita nila in their first game. And they're showing signs of it as well in the second game. Davao naman ngayon ang babawi dito sa kanan with Kart Talarok. Talarok keeps it in play. No, he won't. Commentator's curse. We're really sorry about that. <laughs> Goal kick ngayon para sa Stallion Laguna FC. They are really pushing themselves on that right side. Talagang gustong gusto nila. But I think there's definitely that opening. But they really just need to make that good, perfect pass to make that count. That pass towards the final third is just missing for Davao. But they're going to have plenty of more chances later on. Mabangit muna natin, no? Stali Laguna FC on their AFC Cup debut. They will be facing Terengganu FC of Malaysia, Bali United of Indonesia, and of course, Central Coast Mariners of the A-League. Medyo challenging yung group. Let's see kung paano nila pag -ahandaan. Of course, they're gonna use the Copa Paulino Alcantara to prepare for that. But let's see kung ano yung mangyayari sa kanilang campaign. And we wish them all the best, of course, as one of the representatives of the Philippines. Definitely. If they are able to do well in that competition, that would speak plenty when it comes to the quality of play that the Philippines Football League and the Copa Paulino Alcantara can offer. Nakausap natin si Coach Aber kanina ng uh, Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. They're gonna make variations in terms of their formation. At nakikita na nga natin ngayon, no? Paulo Buga starting from the right midfield ngayon ay nandun na sa kaliwa, helping out the likes of Yannick Tuason and... Uh, Maru Angeles or Marvin Angeles rather. Oh, a little pressure there from Davao Aguilas. Had to force the keeper to uh, make the ball out of play. Hyson just alert to the possibility and kicking it out. Chance ngayon babalik para sa da Stallion Laguna FC. Ten minutes into this game and Stallion with a goal already from player number 99, Yuta Nomura. But that definitely doesn't tell us the whole story here. Dava Wagilas has been pushing really, really hard. But they really just need to make that perfect little pass on the right side, the one that they've been trying to drill on. Well, two or three more plays, mababasa rin na, na yan ang stallion. So most likely, gagamitin na nila yung kaliwa. And this is what we're talking about. Pero makukuha ni Galeana ang bola. Stallion Laguna FC now gonna go for the counter-attack. Finn McDaniel with the header, but that's too speculative from your hat-trick scorer in the first match for Stalin Laguna FC? Well, he had to try because you don't get the top scorer for nothing, you know? You have to try. JV Calocaran ngayon ang gagawa ng chance para sa Stalin with this throw-in. Nomura with a great back flick. Pero makukuha ng Stalin, or ng Davo, ang bola rather. Davo again, building from the back. 
this time still trying to make a decision kung sa left or sa right side sila aabante they are going on the left side player is asking for it but they opted to play the ball back to the defense Clarino trying to play that ball Aguilas in a good position here, Caso. The Stallions defense was able to cope with them. Sayang na sayang yung opportunity na yun. Stallion hasn't been tested that much dun sa kaliwang side nila, especially kung or sa kanang side nila kasi kaliwa yung atake ng Davao. Hindi nila makita yung dynamics so far for Davao Aguilas FC but Right now, they're going to try their best from the middle. Marvin Angeles missing the pass. Makukuha ngayon ni Carta Larok. 1-2 between Paolo Bugas. Almost a great through ball. Pero makukuha ni Nieras. Babalik ang bola ngayon dito sa Stalin Naguna FC. The ball goes outside. Aguilas to throw. Starting the play again from the defense. Medyo naghihintayin pa sila ng konti for something to open up. Oh, pressure from Nomura. And the ball goes outside. Stallions to make that throw. Oh, sorry. Aguilas. So far, composed and depends ngayon ng Davao Aguilas FC in this play, or in this game rather. Yanik Tuason ngayon ang gagawa para sa Davao. Marvin Angeles, Talarok, nakuha ng Stallion. Talarok, kukunin ulit ang bola para sa Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Pero makukuha na ngayon ng Stallion. Placito with a great long ball forward. Pero wala doon si Galeana. Late on the pass. Pero babalik ngayon ang bola sa Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Long ball ngayon. Inahanap dito si Paulo Bugas. Placito with a great cover. At matatawagan ba nga ng foul? Itong si Paolo Bugas dun sa play na yun. Pero they had the great idea. Yun eh. uh, he was already making that good run. Nang kita na nga nila kung nasan yung punta ng takbo. Sayang lang talaga yung foul. Yun. 15 minutes in this game, Glenn. So far, how have you analyzed Davos' attack? and Stallion's attack as well. Well, Stallion is definitely banging on that counter-attack that they're uh, really, really good at right now. Whereas, we can see that Davao Aguilas has been persistent in trying to find that opening. They keep utilizing the right side, but they have started to put some combinations by running it through the center and also on the left side. Oh. Even though that they're persistent enough, eh, sumobra yung persistence dun ni Carta Larok. Uh, he was offside on the play. At uh, medyo kakausapin lang siya dito ng referee. Just calming things down between JV and uh, Cart Alarok. I'm sure Cart did, didn't like that call na na-offside siya. Well, Stallions mounting up their attack again this time around. Sila naman ngayon may bola. Moving forward. Michael Menzi, bibigay dito ay JV Kalokaran. Kalukaran with a good dribble. Oh, he was able to keep that ball. Great pass towards the right side. Galeana. Galeana. Can he cross? No, he won't. He dropped it back. He cut it back for Rilio Raza to use. But it's quite confusing why he did that. He had two players rushing on the left side on the far post. But, you know, yes. wala tayo sa loob ng pitch. They are the ones seeing the place and the they're surely going to hope that play will come back to them. Oh yeah, but Ivanovski was really asking for the ball right there. He really never got it. Before this game, Kaya FC Iloilo mounting another masterclass over their former rivals as well. Philippine Air Force, eight goals to one and naging tala. And uh, the league champions 
are really, really eager to win their third Copa Paulino Alcantara. I think if we're not mistaken, they're already plus 26 in goal difference. So the the level of uh, play has increased so much for Kai FC Luilo. Nababanggit nga natin dati and we're used to seeing them score two or three goals at the max. But now, it's the minimum for them. Well, looks like they've made a big investment when it comes to firepower this time around. Because they are very confident with their defense, I'm sure. So ngayon gusto naman nila let's spice things up, and we need to be AFC Cup ready, you know, or a uh, AFC Champions League ready. So firepower is a must. Pero like what you've been saying, the goal difference has been really great. It just needs to be tested by another team with the same kind of quality in terms of firepower as well. Well, yan ang kaabangan nila as they will be facing CF Manila as well. Isa yan sa teams na nasa Group A that we are seeing that will make it to the group stages or will make it to the knockout stages with uh, plenty of comfort. Of course, being anchored by the Ascals' former team captain. Sabi nating former kasi he retired and then he unretired himself. Uh, Stefan Schrock. And uh, I think he's, uh, uh, is he still active at the moment or has he retired again? Iyan ang ating uh, alamin. For now, let's go back into this game between Stallion and Dava with Stallion going for the attack once again on the right side. Makukuha ni Nyera sa bola. Here comes Galeana looking for options. Sending it over to the left side for Finn McDaniel to use. Heather in the first try but the coverage from Migi. Clarinho is there to cover. Yeah, being a uh, top scorer, he's definitely a marked man. For the or Mario. rather, that was, that was OJ Clarino. My apologies. Utol nga pala niya si Migi. Magkamunga rin kasi yung dalawa eh. <laughs> Ivanovski into the middle. What a pass! But really, Raza was not alert for that chance. Michael Menzi will leave this all the way out for Pepito. Michael Menzing ayon ang magko-compose ng depensa ng Stallion Laguna FC. Magsisimula dito sa likod. Placito, the tank of Stallion Laguna FC. Don't be surprised pag nakita nyo yung si Placito dito sa harapan during corners. He scored plenty of goals using his head in the previous Copa Paulino Alcantara that led them to their third place finish. And uh, tignan natin kung ano magagawa na Stallion ngayon dito sa kanan. Galeana inside the box. Pero meron deflection, first corner of the match for Stalin Laguna FC. They uh, nagsasolidify na talaga yung defense ng uh, uh, Davao Aguilas dito. As you could see, he's no longer letting those in to the box. Kanina, bigla-bigla na lang pumapasok ang mga bola na yun. And right now, they're trying to stop the supply, making sure na hanggang doon na lang yung bola na yun. But then again, we have a corner. So this will be an out swinger right now for Galeana. He will be looking for options inside the box. You have Nomura, you have McDaniel, and you also have Placito who heads it in but just goes over the bar. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Abraham Placito always alert to these possibilities, especially during set pieces. Well, he is going to be the favorite kung ganun siya ka frequent when it comes to winning the ball in the air. He's had plenty of that in the recently concluded Philippines Football League as well as in the Copa Paulino Alcantara. And let's see Kung ano pang magagawa ni Abe Placito for Stalin Laguna FC. Davao so far, we haven't talked about them over the last few minutes because they're being pushed into defense. Pero ngayon, OJ Clarino dito sa kanan, looking for options, sends it inside for Tuason. But again, Pepito is alert to the possibility and plucking the ball out of the thin air. Tuason was trying to time his run better there, but this time... He was too close to the keeper when the pass came in. So very, very predictable now when it comes to the cross. Stallion Laguna showing the vintage Stallion Laguna style of play. No nonsense in terms of attack. No nonsense in terms of defense. Very physical. Very physical as well. And so much physicality on that one. Foul is called against Stallion Laguna FC. That was, I believe that was Galeano was called for a foul. Moving again from the back on the right side. Cortalarok is being pushed all the way to the back for Davao. And Stallion really putting the pressure that high. Talagang meron talang gustong mangyari. Trying to force the mistake early on or very, very high up the pitch. 
Now Aurelio Raza gives it to Finn McDaniel who sends it inside the box. Easy picking for Gubalio. Medyo napalakas ng konti yun. Konting timing lang yan. Now we have Bugas on the ball for Davao Aguilas FC. Make sure na follow niya yan sa TikTok at sa Facebook. Diba? Marami-rami na siyang naipapamigay na prices sa mga followers niya. Kailan kaya tayo maaambunan ni Paolo, no? Malay mo tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Davao still figuring out their attack. Namura on possession for Stalin Laguna FC. Oh, the defense got in the way, but it was called as a foul against Stallions. And now Davao with an in an advanced position here, moving the ball on the right side. Talaro, great pass to the middle, pero advanced yung run ni Yannick Tuason dun sa sequence na yun. Here's the counterattack from Stalin Laguna FC. He's on the clear. One and one against the goalkeeper, Ivanovsky. What a lovely save from oh. Gubalio. Another one. Oh. 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 So close that shot Ivanovsky was trying tignan natin no he beat the offside trap Ivanovsky one on one against Gubalio not the right shot missing the power and then on the rebound missing the goal in its entirety well he was in an awkward position right there he was running all the way and talagang hindi na siya nakatingin sa goal at that point but that would have been a screamer. Nagigita natin ngayon yung advantage ng atake ng Stallion Laguna FC, mounting five shots on goal, three of them on target. Kasama niyong binato kanina dito ni Ivanovski. So far, Davao hasn't been putting much of the attack. They were passing the ball around really well, pero hindi sila makanap ng butas ngayon dito sa depensa ng Stallion. Yeah, and that actually gives credit to the entire defense of Stallion Laguna right now. They're really preventing the shots from coming in. And that's pretty much yung gusto gusto ng mga goalkeeper. Ivanovski ngayon ang gagawa ng bola para sa Stallion. Ivanovski! Oh! Another save from Gubalio. Another chance. Galeana. Babalik yan dito kay Rilio Raza. Poor first touch. Not a great second one for him to take a strike. Pero nakikita natin, Gubalio is being tested right now, but he's up to the challenge. So far, so good. Making good saves on on shots that could have really been really good goals. At talagang hindi sila nabibitin sa power dun sa mga, sa mga shots na yun. So, dapat talaga. He was really alert to them. Well, habang kinakamusta ako ng mga pamangkikers natin sa, ano, no, sa ating uh, Facebook, Eh, gusto ko lang din kamustahin yung kaibigan natin na si David Abele na nanonood din ng laro natin. Of course, supporter of Davao Aguilas FC. Sana okay ka pa dyan. Alam kong kinakabangan na kanina pa. And your team is down 1-0. Let's see kung ano magagawa ng team mo. Ako, nai-imagine ko na ang kaibigan natin. He's pushing Davao Aguilas to do better right now, I'm pretty sure. And again, Stallion Laguna mounting up another attack just outside the box, but... Nakuha. Ng Davao. That was a good sequence, pero uh, very good, to, uh, very good defense from Davao Aguilas at that point. Eh nangao, oh, kakasabi lang ni Dave sa ating live stream, Davao wake up. <laughs> <laughs> eh kasi gising na siya sa Italy ngayon. <laughs> Kamusta naman sa iba pa nating mga nanonood na kababayan? Brian Rosales, keep attacking daw, Stallion. Oh, Pagpasensya nyo na ulit yung bosses ko. No? Galing tayo kagabi sa, ano, eh. <laughs> sa Philippine Arena eh, dahil sa opening. Eh. Chance na ngayon for Davao, pero offside na naman ang ibibigay ng ating referee. Yun yung pumipigil ngayon sa Davao in terms of their attack through Cartalaro. Si, si Cartalaro talagang, he was trying his best to get that timing, right? Kaso kasi pagka nadelay ka ng konti dyan, hindi mo rin makukuha yung optimal na, na hinihingi mo eh. So, it's a very difficult balancing act. Ayun nga, no? pinapaliwanag sa atin ni Dave kanina sa comment sections. Pagpasensya nyo na, eh, napaganda yung pag-chat-chat -pag natin kahapon para sa Gilas. Eh. Although we lost 6 points in our opening game sa World Cup, pero okay lang. Babawi yata ang uh, Gilas. <laughs> well, in speaking of babawi, may maibabawi pa ba ang Davao Aguilas dito sa laro na ito? Kasi mukhang apakaganda na ng build-up nila kanina eh. 
Well, so far, mahaba pa ang ating laban. No? Halfway point pa lang tayo ng first half. It's 1-0 for Stalin Laguna FC. Maganda ang pinapakita ng Stalin in terms of attack. Pero after conceding a goal, itong si Davao naman pinapakita nila na kaya nilang dumipensa ng mas maayos compared dun sa kung kailan sila nakakonsid ng goal. Medyo wake-up call yung one-goal advantage ng Stallions kay Davao right now. Pero nakikita mo naman na parang hindi naman masyado nag-wither yung attack nila. Andiyan pa yung willpower. Andiyan pa yung talagang tactic nila. Gusto talaga nilang i-utilize yung right side with Talaro. We, they really just need to get that perfect pass, incisive pass. Pagka yun nakuha nila, we could find the goalkeeper of Stallions being tested here. Will this be the one? Oh, Jake Larino just couldn't get it through but he's quite livid on that pass he was looking for a through ball rather than a direct pass to his path and now stallions are back with the attack again umaabante sa kanan maghahanap ng kakampi pero hindi makakita kaya babalik sa depensa let's start over again for stallions Placito being pressured on by Yannick Tuas and his former teammate Pero mailalabas na Stalyo ng bola. Davao naman ngayon ang atake dito sa kaliwa. Looking for options is Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. They're getting closer to the penalty box. Pero makukuha ulit ng Stalyo Laguna FC. Another chance for Davao. Tuazon couldn't convert. And so far, Stalyo really brick wall in defense. Especially on their final third. Yeah, you can really see them ganging, uh, ganging up on the player dun. Dumadami bigla yung defenders na kailangan mong harapin kapag ka ikaw ay nandyan. But then again, that also means that there's an open space somewhere there. At kailangan yung makita ni Davao at may utilize. Michael Menzi ngayon. Bibigay dito kay JV Calocaran who had a little bit of a gash. Dun sa isang challenge, she's wearing a, a headband right now or a bandage sa kanyang ulo. And you can see your patience dito ngayon ng, ano, no, ng Stalin Laguna FC. If they don't have the opportunity up front, ibabalik nila sa depensa just to open things up. Well, they're no longer under pressure to score a goal at this point. Pero of course, kailangan yun for the insurance. Kasi Davao Aguilas has been knocking at their door. The only thing that's missing right now is the shot on target. Here's the opportunity for Stalin. Great pass to Galeana. Galeana! And, and the goal! Yes! Two goals in favor of Stallion Laguna FC. We'll have to confirm who actually scored the goal because Galeana's shot was almost getting past the line. Makikita natin yung replay. That's Utah getting it through to Galeana and then just getting it past Gubalio. And I think we will credit that goal for Utah Nomura. That's his second goal of the match. Definitely staying inside the box, making sure na yung opportunity pag biglang lumabas, eh ready siya para mag-pounce sa mga ganyang chance. It's like he almost made that, uh, made that play on his own with a little help from his teammates. And there you go, confirmation from our stadium announcer, Yuta Nomura scoring his second goal, a brace. In the 30th minute of the match against Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC coach Averus Gal is now asking questions from his team. Anong nangyari sa atin? Anong nangyayari sa atin? This is not how we were playing in the past. Yes, we've had a couple of uh, scary moments or nervy moments against Mendiola in that uh, draw that they've had in their encounter against the PFL side. Pero this is something that they're not expecting against Salian. Well, that's what happens if you're uh, if you're up against someone who has the quality and the eye for goal. Talagang in tipong mga malilit na opportunities na ganyan, hindi mo talaga pwedeng palampasin. Giving credit where it's due, Stalin Laguna FC are canceling out Cartalarok so far. He's being pushed to the middle instead of being that right winger for Davao Aguilas Yumak FC. In their formation, he is part of that right wing for Davao. Pero ngayon nakikita natin naglalaro medyo mas malalim. Pero ngayon may atake na naman na Stallion. Gubalio finally clearing his lines. That was a really desperate tackle right there. Pero dyan mo makikita talaga yung resolve ng keeper. Ayaw na ayaw niya pang makonsid ng isa pa. But then again, we uh, still have the ball. 
first uh, Davao Aguilas, and now they're going to try and mount again an attack on the left side. Two players asking for it. Will he find his teammates? Hindi, dahil napakaganda ng depensa ngayon ng Talion Laguna kahit sa wings, hindi sila makalusot ng basta-basta. So other than Yannick Tuason of Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC, formerly Stalin Laguna FC. And dito rin si Troy Limbo sa lineup ng Davao, who's also a former Stalin Laguna FC player. Carta Larok with a great pass inside. Oh. Hits the post. Another chance. Davao missed it. And another one. Davao again. Oh. Oh. That could have been the that could have pulled them back. That could have revived them. What a waste of effort. Three crazy chances. Let's see this again. Great pass from Talarok. Hits the left post. Bumalik ang bola. A shot from Clarino. And then makukuha ni Limbo. Hindi lang pumasok yung strike. Three clear chances right now for Davao. Just gone begging for them. Well, you have to give credit to Stallions as well. They were making sure that the open lanes were closed. They were crowding the box with their own defense. It really had to be a difficult shot to take from there. But sayang talaga, it could have been. It could have been that one goal that put them back. And now Davao Aguilas trying to fend this attack off. Villarreal covers it really well for Davao UMAC FC. And I believe Villarreal, also another former Stallion Laguna FC player, now wearing white against his former club. Ivanovski, he crosses the ball looking for Utah. Stallions get it back and is mounting on another attack from the outside of the box. Oh, that's a good dribble. Rilio Raza couldn't get it through. Asking for handball, pero walang ibibigay. Placito will head this one out. Stallion back on the attack. And still going. Makukuha na ngayon ang depensa ng Davao. Yannick Tuason, 1-2. Hinahanap si Troy Limbo dun sa kaliwa. Troy Limbo very fast, but he's gonna go up against his former teammate and team captain, Matt Nieras. And he's gonna leave it out for a throw in. Yeah, Nieras was definitely first to the ball. Mas mabilis medyo nung konti ang takbo niya. Uh, throw in for Stallion. Davao Aguila takes it back. And starts the play from the back once again. Gubalio, binigay dito ngayon kay Villarreal. Villarreal looking for options up front. Binigay dito kay OJ sa kanan. OJ babalik kay Villarreal. Villarreal, long ball forward. Bugas with possession. Bugas finds Talaro. Schaefer with a lovely deflection of that ball. And just getting it, or Schaffner rather, getting it back. So depends on Stalin Laguna FC. Stallion keeping the ball in an advanced position here. Galeana is going to be called for a foul. For me, it's not necessary for Galeana for that, you know, little bit of a toe poke. But he's so eager to get to the ball and get the chance. Hence the foul. Well, you can really see the aggression that uh, Stallion Laguna wants to show here. This is definitely a team that's trying to, uh, to play for the AFC Cup. Tuason tried to give chase, but the defense was able to cope with it. And now it's back to the goalkeeper for Stallion Laguna. Hyson Pepito is not yet challenged that much in this game. Yuta Nomura was asking for a short ball, pero masyadong malakas yung pasa ni Hyson dun sa sequence na yun. Babalik ang bola ngayon sa, sa Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC, with about 9 minutes remaining in the first half. Down by 2 goals to nil. They don't want to get into the dressing room with this score line. Well, there is plenty of time. And right now, is that OJ Clarino on the wing? OJ could have controlled the ball first time, but waited for the bounce. At alam natin na medyo challenging yan sa artificial pitch. Yung bounce medyo unpredictable. Eh. So that's what happened. Throw in here on four. Stallion. 
Davao gets it back, tries to push it forward again. Bogus Open on the right side. Bugas ang medalo ng bola. Maghahanap ng papasahan itong si Bugas. Babalik muna kay Villarreal. Pete Forasuelo, former standout of the Ascos development team, will take it back to Kenneth Gubalio. And Villarreal resets for Davao. Paulo Bugas back into that right side. But again, closed down by JV Kalokaran. We can all see what he was trying to do. He was trying to make uh, to find that opening pass, but you know, the lanes were blocked. Hindi may papasa ang bola sa ganyan. Clarinho with the throw. Bogas opts for the short pass. Now the long ball from Sapal to the left side. Changing direction, but they have to go back. I said there's no opening at that side, and now they're being pressured again by Stallion. Forasuelo was smart not to push the issue and just take it back to Gubalio. And now they're starting on the right side once again. Bugas. Bugas ni ng harap ng chance para sa Davao. Cart Talarok. Again, Cart not playing in that forward position. He's really being pushed to the midfield. I think he, well, he has no choice. He's a marked man when it comes to getting the ball up in the advanced positions right now. For Asuelo with the long ball headed away by McDaniel. Here's Ivanovsky on the clear against two players in white. Ivanovsky couldn't get the ball against Cartalaro. Ball ngayon para sa Davao Aguilas, Yumak FC. OJ Clarinho to the middle. Great control from Troy Limbo. Limbo. Magahanap ng papasahan dito. Nabigay kay Paulo Bugas onto the right side for Tuazon, but not the one that they're looking for. You can see the movement of Tuazon. He was asking for that ball in a good position. And had he gotten that ball, he could have been on in the open. Six minutes remaining in this first half. Again, Stallion with a 2-0 lead over Davao Aguilas Yumak FC. Courtesy of a brace from Yuta Nomura. First goal on the ninth minute, followed up with a 30th minute goal. That's why they have the lead. Aguilas on the left side. But Stallions denied them that path. And now Stallions are on the attack. Schaffner. Hindi makakarap ng teammate doon. Davao now on the counter-attack. Advantage given. Opening on the right side. Pero hindi nahanap ang pasa. Kalukaran again. Brick wall and defense. Preventing that through ball. Schaffner ngayon finds Finn McDaniel on the left side on the through ball. Against OJ Clarino. One on one. Can he dribble past OJ? Yes, he can. And that's a good pass. A deflection. From Villarreal forces it out for just the second corner of the match. Tignan natin ulit yung matchup dito. McDaniel was just a little bit faster than OJ Clarino. Pero yung pasa was not directly towards one of the players in blue. At merong chance ngayon for a corner itong Stallion Laguna FC. That's what happens if the defense is doing its job. They're making sure na medyo predictable na yung magiging pathways ng bola. So... Kaya madaling nabasa ng teammates, ng defender. So Galeana, the trusted one to take the second corner of the match for Stallion. Sends it inside the box. Placito couldn't get to it. Another one in the middle. Cleared away by Davao and they will go for the counterattack for Troy Limbo. And the boys in white. Limbo finds Paulo Bugas on the turn. Can he make that pass? Angeles, nobody up front for Davao so far. And that has been the story for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Magagawa nila yung play dito sa gitna, pero walang tao na kukuha ng bola sa harapan. Hindi nila mahanap yung exact moment kung saan may tao na mag-receive ng bola dun sa attacking third nila. Talagang dyan sila nasa stack sa gitna. Yun yung kailangang ayusin ng Davao towards the second half. Now, counter-attack from Stallion. It's gonna be cleared out by OJ Clarino. 
And the corner count is rising for Stallion, Laguna FC. It's their third corner of the game. Another scoring opportunity. Daming nananalong games when it comes to scoring corners. Games can be won and lost in corners. Talaga. And as expected, the tank, a Placito, goes up again for the corner. But by the looks of it, there might be a short corner waiting in the wings with Ivanovski and uh, Galiana. Yeah, he's going to take it long. It's a long one into the middle. Great ball for Rilio Raza to use, but couldn't capitalize. Cartalarok now will clear the ball out. Bugas. Nobody ah. for Bugas. Babalik siya dito kay Sapal. The opportunity for a counter-attack withered in an instant there. Nakita na natin na wala pa sa position yung mga Stallion players. Pero unfortunately, wala din sa position yung mga teammates niya to make, an, uh, to make a good attack. And kung titignan mo yung shape ng Stallion Laguna FC, whenever Davao is on the ball, there's like two players covering the line of pass. Meron mang isang tao sa line of pass, meron ding isang kukuha nung papasahan ng bola. Kaya nahihirapan ngayon ng Davao na makagawa ng opportunity. Yeah, it doesn't matter kung sino yung nasa side na yan, whether that be uh, si number 13 or anyone else. It's definitely gonna get blocked. And again, Stallion with the deflection. Ivanovski and the foul against Villarreal on that sequence. First yellow card of the game. Yep, it goes to Reynald Villarreal. That was a little bit too physical for our tastes here, or at least for the referees. Let's see it again. Ivanovski tried to go for the Gareth Bale move, pero nakuha agad siya din Villarreal. A professional foul. Yellow card, yes, because he's impeding the, the path nitong si Ivanovski. Yeah, had the, the foul not occurred, that could have actually lead an opening for Stallion Laguna. JV Kalukaran to take this. And he's now, going long. JV goes long, headed out. Still nervy moments for Davao and they finally clear the ball out only to a, an expense of a throw in for Stalin Laguna FC, a dangerous part of the pitch to concede a throw in. Stallions making themselves a nuisance here. Pero Davao Aglas was able to take it back. Referee calls for a foul and I think there was a handball na itatawag ng ating referee but the call came in a bit late. Siguro salamat na lang din sa assistant referee niya that he was able to get the um, the handball and uh, Yannick Tuason is pleading his case and finally here's the assistant referee he's gonna be the one to clear it out siya yung mas malapit dun sa play na yun and he called it as a as a handball Davao clearly not happy with that call this is a dangerous spot to concede a free kick yeah, he can take it on his own or he can pass it to a teammate. It's a little bit off angle for Finn McDaniel, so most likely this is just going to be a delivery inside the box. Dava was first to the ball. Schaffner couldn't get the right touch. And there it is, a foul on Stallion. Tempers are flaring here towards the end of the first half. A little bit of bad blood, of course, between these two sides. Nagarap na to dati sa PFL. And ngayon nagarap ulit sila dito sa Copa Paulino Alcantara. Yeah, the players may be different, but the bad blood remains. And ganyan naman talaga ang stallion, no? Very physical in terms of uh, their game. At uh, nakikita rin natin na very passionate din yung mga players nila so uh, uh, hindi talaga may iwasan na magkainitan sa laro yes the stallion uh, the stallion side is very well drilled when it comes to that that's why then it comes to physicality we know that they can stay on top and they can keep the game at a high level cons uh, constantly 
So, two added minutes. Patapos na rin tayo sa ating first half. With the, so far again, Stalin Laguna FC with a 2-0 advantage. Sa karamihan ng laro, a 2-0 advantage heading into halftime is a dangerous lead. Kasi yan ay yung nakakapag-build na ng momentum yung team. Pero knowing that we're gonna go into halftime, things may change. We might see a uh, different game in the second half. It all depends on what the leaders are going to do. If uh, they're going to decide to keep pushing harder or if they're going to decide to uh, step, uh, let go of the gas a little bit. But regardless of what the decision is, it's definitely something that St uh, Stallion would have to make a decision for. But then again, we also have here a very credible Davao side who's trying to state and uh, to make their case. And if you ask me, they're really making a case here. And that is it for the first half. First 45 minutes in the books between Stallion Laguna FC and Davao Aguilas Umac FC. Stallion with a 2-0 advantage thanks to Yuta Nomura's goal on the 9th minute. And on the 30th minute, Coach Aber Ruzgal and the rest of Davao Aguilas Umac FC will be going into that dressing room asking themselves what happened. But so far, it's Davao Aguilas Umac FC nil. Stallion Laguna FC nil or two rather we're gonna go into halftime analysis and stats as well as highlights when we come back stay with us
halftime here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium and the rain is pouring down. But we're going to wait for the goals to come in as well and rain into this match. So far, Stallion Laguna FC 2-0 over Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Before we head into the highlights, your thoughts on the first half, Glenn? It was definitely not a one-sided match as the scoreline uh, suggests. Uh, Davao Aguilas has been trying their best to knock on the doors of Stallion Laguna, but Stallion was able to come to uh, was able to keep up and was able to come to the task here. They were able to keep them at bay. They were able to uh, cut the supply. In fact, because of their defense, they uh, Stallion uh, Stallion was able to prevent Davao Aguilas from getting past the middle of the field. They were not able to get through the attacking third. Nabangkit nga rin natin kanina, Glenn, no? Ang daming chance ng Davao whenever they make the play in the middle. Pero yung pasa towards the final third, yung nawawala para sa Davao ngayon. So let's see how they're gonna do things in the second half. But before that, we have the highlights to look into. Pagpasensya nyo na ulit ang boses ni Tito. Galing tayong gilas kagabi. But here are some of the highlights of the first half. Paulo Bugas with the first chance on goal earlier on for Davao. But this is the goal that gave them the lead for Stallion. Yuta Nomura, wow! Ngayon ko lang nakita ang ganda ng control ni Yuta Nomura dun sa pasa galing from Finn McDaniel. And then this one, A. Placito, again the tank coming up for the attack. Dava was trying their best to go for the counter on the right side pero they weren't able to capitalize on it. And then this one, the one-on-one -on -one between Ivanovski and Gubalio. Gubalio read that really well. And Ivanovski just couldn't convert on the follow-up. Then Ivanovski again testing the gloves of Gubalio in that sequence. Pero ito, Utah with a great through pass for Galeana. Nahawakan ni Gubalio but the follow-up is there for Utah Nomura who got his brace in the first half. Nervy moments for Stallion earlier on. With a couple of chances from Davao but they just couldn't capitalize and the former star the former wonder boy of Stalin Laguna FC just missing a sitter and near the goal mouth earlier on Glenn some of the stats we want to talk about Stallion with eight shots on goal five of them on target Davao clearly with the uh, know, with the disadvantage only with three shots on goal one of them on target Kamusta yun ang yayari ngayon sa atake ng Davao? Well, the sh number of shots alone isn't enough to tell the whole story right now. Kasi we can see that Davao was holding on to the ball actually just as long as Stallions were able to hang on to the ball. So they were able to match them when it comes to possession. But what's really lacking is their ability to break through to the final third. That's where it gets really cha uh, really difficult for Davao Aguilas right now. They can't seem to find that incisive pass that would break the defense. And on the other side of the pitch, Stallion Laguna was able to trample on the small chances that they get. It wasn't the really good place that really got the goals. It was really great counter-attacking pieces that really caught the, the defense of the Davao Aguilas off guard. Well, ngayon, nababanggit naman natin. There are three halftime substitutes for Stalin Laguna FC. Jordan Jarvis, Craig Bonankin, and Shermar Filonko all coming in for Stalin Laguna FC. We're gonna check and confirm kung sino mga pinalita nila. But by the looks of it, JV Kalukaran has been replaced. Galeana has been replaced as well. And we're just checking for one more replacement dito para sa Stallion Laguna FC. So looks like Galeana, Kalokaran, and Schaffner has been replaced by Jarvis, Bonankin, and Shermar Filonko as we get second things or second half running out here. Well, this is a good opportunity for Stallion Laguna to really try and check if their other tactics, if their other players can keep up, and make it happen. Shaffner, 
right away umatake ng Stalin Laguna FC pero makukuha ng Davao now Davao playing from right to left let's see kung may open nila yung mga chance ngayon with the uh, game that we have 45 minutes left for Davao to turn turn things around and keep their top spot in the group Bola, so we can never really tell how this is going to end and of course Davao has been in this position before remember the game against Mendiola FC they went down by a goal twice in that game and they have they were able to uh, level things up three goals to three so let's see kung ano magagawa ng Davao they're used to uh, being uh, you know at the uh, disadvantage but let's see kung makakapitalize ba ngayon ang stallion itong position nila yeah you have to remember there is a huge difference when it comes to coming up to a side that's supposed to compete in the AFC Cup there's definitely that difference when it comes to the quality of players so dito mo talaga makikita this is a great test especially to the willpower of Davao Aguilas if they can still bring it step up to the plate make things happen and uh, bago ang corner ng Davao, no? let's give a shout out to former Stallion Laguna FC player Kainoa Bailey watching our live stream. Thank you so much. Here's the delivery for Davao. A chance. Scramble inside the box and cleared away by Stallion Laguna FC. Davao was not able to capitalize on that. There was definitely a scramble right there. The boys from the Far Eastern University Tamaraos are also watching this game. VJ Frigiliano, shout out daw kay Martini Ray, their team captain. Coach uh, Richard Leble of Stallion FC, congratulations in your win in the PFFU 19 Boys National Championship with Stallion FC. Winning the game by a goal to nil against NCRFA. You can definitely see the quality of the youth. Stallion almost able to put another attack into the books but Davao this time around was able to stop them Villarreal with a great tackle there just to kick the ball out for a throw in Ivanovsky is asking for teammates looking for options for them this one they can utilize a long throw and uh, you know what can happen out of a long throw opportunities chances but they're going for a short one here we go with uh, Stallion. Great flick from Ivanovski. And di magawa ng chance dun si Shermar Filonko. But they still have another throw in. And in this kind of position, Stallion has the advantage here. Kanina naghahanap tayo ng hangin dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium. Ngayon malamig. Muulan dito sa loob ng stadium. Mas maganda nga yung ganyang panahon. Tignan natin kung magbabago yung complexion ng laro dahil sa weather natin, ano? Yes, you, you can imagine how slippery this can be for the players. Especially yung bola, mas magiging unpredictable yan. Diyan minsan nagkakaroon ng mga accidental chances at opportunities. Tignan mo yung nangyari doon. Abe Lasito being the bigger brother or former bigger brother of um, Troy Limbo in that sequence. A foul na itinawag, quick play for Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Paulo Buga switching the play to the right side for OJ Clarinha to use. OJ still with the ball, looking for options. Talarok. Still couldn't break that final third is Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. We have a player down for Stallion Laguna FC. I think it's uh, Rilio Raza. But he's back up to his feet. Oh, para isa na lang. Sa lahat na nagko-comments ng shoutout sa ating stream, shoutout po sa inyo lahat. <laughs> Nari naririnig niyo naman na ano, medyo challenge <laughs> para kay Tito ngayon. Pero babawi ako sa inyo. Kailangan mag-extra effort para maka-shout. <laughs> Sumasahit na nga yung dibdib ko eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, baka pasakitin pa lalo ng ulo ng Stallion sa uh, Davao. Pero, nope, not at this opportunity. Davao has the ball back and they are going to have at it. It was Tuason 
fighting for the ball. Now, Stallion Laguna FC on the counter-attack. Rilio Raza finds... Oh, missed the pass. Itong si Finn McDaniel. One good... Uh, that, uh, that would have been a great pass. Stallion could have really tripled the advantage at that point. One good touch missing for Finn McDaniel. He could have been on the goal there. Ito ngayon, Davao ang atake with Yannick Tuason switching to that right winger role now instead of the target man in the middle. Davao a little bit outnumbered on that offensive. <laughs> Davao starting with their attack again. Nice piece of football right there. Anong gagawin niya? Lipat sa kabilang side. Villarreal ngayon. Ang gagawa ng chance para sa Davao. Hinahanap dito si Talarok sa kanan. Or rather, uh, we're checking in. Now here's Tuason on possession for Davao. Through ball. Looking for... Cart Talarok, but then again, covered really well by the final third of Stallion Laguna FC. Yung, the rest of the team was not running with him at that time. If they were, they could have had an opportunity right there. Ang ganda pala ng pwesto ng mga fans dito sa Copa Paulino Alcantara, no? especially yung mga kasama natin sa trabaho. Kasi... Sa lingit sa kaalaman ng lahat, ano, dito sa Rizal Memorial Stadium, katabi lang natin yung Nino Aquino Stadium na ginagamit din na training facility ng ating mga participating, uh, participating nations sa ongoing na FIBA World Cup. So, alay mo, makita natin US dito maya-maya. Oh, <laughs> Pero may laro sila actually. So, baso mga susunod na araw. Oh, Nomura was pushed off position there. Muntik na niyang nakuha ang bola. Once he has it, you know what happens. Davao trying to play the ball out. Pero under pressure from Stallion. Too much pressure, I think. Too much pressure indeed. Shermar Filonko. The usual Shermar Filonko. Nakita natin yung pressure na yun. And he's called for another foul. Talagang parang pag Shermar Filonko, talagang he screams Stallion Laguna talaga. Arang gusto ko mag-comment, pero... <laughs> Now, Shermar Filonko, of course, former player of Kaya FC, Luilo, switching to Stalin Laguna FC. Yes, he exemplifies right now the Stalin Laguna FC style of play. Medyo physical maglaro, but ganun din naman siya no, nasa, nasa Kaya siya. Siguro mas malala lang ngayon. <laughs> Tuason ngayon may bola para sa Davao Aguilas. Yumak, switching the play to the left side. Makukuha dito ng Davao. At naaga ulit ng... Stallion and now Stallion is mounting a counter attack. Three against four. Will he find that pass? Ivanovsky inside the box. Gubalio and the play goes out for a goal kick. Great pressure being put on there by Gubalio. Just covering the angles for Ivanovsky to uh, look for opportunities and pass the ball. That's what you want with the goalkeeper. Talagang he really has to make himself big para mas malaki yung tendency mag mistake. As a striker. So Davao again looking for that one crisp pass ahead of the final third of Stallion Laguna FC. Ito na ngayon ang Davao with Cartalarok on the right side cutting inside. What a lovely pass pero makukuha ni Nieras. Babalik ang bola sa Davao. Marvin Angeles sending the ball to the right side of the pitch. We here's the fake from OJ Clarino. Babalik ang bola for Paulo Bugas. Through pass now for OJ Clarino. First time cross. No, it won't be. Great dribble. He goes down. No foul is called, said the referee. No contact there. Nothing to warrant any foul indeed. Magukuwa ulit ng Davao Aguilas FC. Here's Pete for a suelo on the left side now for Davao. Davao trying to make the most of this possession. 
Marvin Angeles to the middle for Yannick Tuason. Great one two for Troy Limbo. For Asuelo now. Switches the play to Paolo Bugas, who's currently on the left side. Nagaling sa kanan. Great coverage from Noy Felonco. Gets it through the legs of Yannick Tuason. Na not big panga. <laughs> nice piece of skill. All right, that's a foul on uh, Davao. That's their fourth foul. Even on the foul count, tignan mo naman tong stallion. Six fouls so far. <laughs> Napaka-physical maglaro eh na. Talagang banatan kung banatan. Reminds me of uh, back then when they called it no blood, no foul. Well, parang ganun nga yung situation sa football eh. No? Kasi yung... Yung simple shoulder bump, hindi siya foul eh. Pero pag makita na nag-extend yung arms mo, that's the time na matatawagan ka ng foul. So you have to be careful with those shoulders. Ivanovski ngayon for Stallion, Laguna FC. You know, while the, the uh, run of play is with Stallion, Laguna right now, I am liking this kind of attacking from... Uh, Davao Aguilas right now as compared to the first half. They are getting into the attacking third more often as compared to earlier. They were able to find the incisive pass, not just able to find a player in a good position. At pinapakita na nila ngayon yung variation na sinasabi ni Coach Aber kanina on the pre-match na they're not only a route one football team, that they want to spread the ball out wide and look for the options. Even si Paolo Buga switching from right side to the left side, left side to the right side. So, Medyo may freedom. May freedom talaga. Freedom. Ted Lasso, ikaw ba yan? <laughs> Total football ba? <laughs> Bugas. Binalik kay Bugas from Yannick Tuason. Teammate asking for the ball. Ops to go to the opposite side. Mahabol ba? Talarok keeps it in play. Great run from Kart Talarok. Now here's Kart Talarok. Looking for options. Cutting inside. To the left side for Paolo Bugas. Bugas again keeping that ball, but not for long. Felonco was just alert. Babalik ba ang bola sa Davao? Yes, it will. Davao showing their fans this time around. They really want to take something out of this game. Here's Marvin Angeles. Finds Yannick Tuason. Babalik tayo kay Angeles. Angeles ulit, looking for that pass. Long ball forward, makukuha ng depensa. And Michael Menzi gives it to the right side or left side rather. Relia Raza on the counter attack for Stallion Laguna FC. Pero wala yung teammate niya dun sa harapan. So it's gonna be a throw in for Davo Aguilas, Umac FC. The defender making himself big, making sure that the, uh, the ball doesn't get any further than it has to. Ngayon, babalik na naman ang bola sa Davao and they are pushing it forward. And now Stallion has it back with numbers. This is Bonanken on possession. Of course, Bonanken is second year, if we're not mistaken, with Stallion Laguna FC. Nomura was asking for it. Oh, what a oh, save from Caballo. Another one and... Superhuman save by Balio, making sure that that never makes it to the back of the net. See the sequence again. Wow, what a lovely save from Gubalio on that one. Take another closer look. Drink it in. What a lovely save from Gubalio. Definitely a determined take on making sure that his team stays in this game. And now, Davo Aguilas on the other side. But Stallion was able to keep up. Placito lucky not to get the foul there. A little bit of a short tugging on uh, Paolo Bugas. Like I said, no blood, no foul. Nomura switches the play. Felonco blocked by the defense. At eto na. Eto na nararamdaman na talaga natin na nanggigigil na yung Stallion ngayon. Mounting two quick fire shots right away. Dito yung medyo nagigising na naman sila and uh, once they get that engine running, it keeps running.
Nagbalyo ngayon ang gagawa ng play para sa Davao Aguilas UMAC FC. Past the hour mark. Paulo Bugas para sa Davao. Babalik ang bola sa likod. Gubalio with a clearance. He, he have to. Gubalio was under intense pressure right there. He had to clear it that way. Nieras takes it back to Placito. Now all the way back to Heisen Pepito. Great pass from Pepito. Bibihira tayo makita ng mga goalkeeper na kaya mag-feed ng ball ng ganun ka-sharp. No, so wings to, to just to spread the ball out wide because normally goalkeepers tend to send it forward rather than the sides. At nakita natin yung pasa ni Pepito, just enough for um, Matt Nieras to capitalize. Ito na ngayon ang counter attack ng Stallion Laguna FC with Shermar Filonco towards the middle for Nomura. The strike is there a deflection? Yes, there is, and it's a corner for Stallion Laguna FC. That will be their corner number four. You can see Nomura really trying to make something out of that play, but the uh, defender was able to block that shot. So with Galeana on the bench, it's going to be Ivanovski who will be the trusted guy this time around for the corner. And as expected, this will be an in-swinger for them. Two towering players there in Bonankin and Placito, but they send it to the back post. Nobody there for Stallion, so goal kick yeah, for uh, Davao. A little bit too strong on that swing. Rilio Raza, makukuha ni Talaro. A foul on Rilio Raza. That's quite a strong challenge. Uh, pero mukhang referee is just going to leave it as a foul. Nothing more. Final warning. Rilio Raza is lucky to get away with just a final warning in that sequence. Nakita natin yung pagbagsak ni uh, Kurt dun. No? Medyo, medyo may bigat yung bagsak eh. Let's take a look at that again. So Rilio Raza, then he's on the turn. Oh, really tripped him. Yeah, that was a little bit late from him. Benedict naman, parang hindi naman tayo magkasama kagabi. <laughs> Makasabi ka na walang boses, parang hindi mo naman alam kung ano nangyari kagabi. <laughs> <laughs> eh, di pagpasensya na lang. At least, we still have uh, plenty of football action to enjoy and we are delivering it. Once again, my name is Jamie De La Cruz alongside with my longtime friend and buddy and uh, colleague, Glenn Casas. Abang may uh, stoppage to play, kumusta naman ang uh, first, uh, first game mo as a commentator with the Copa Paulino Alcantara? I isa lang yung feedback na nakukuha ko eh. <laughs> Nilapit ko na nga yung mic ko, oh, halos kinakain ko na yung mic. <laughs> Sadyang mahina lang siguro yung boses mo. Konting exercise pa. So, yellow card. Ang ah, tatawa ng tayo, medyo physical na yung laro dun sa gitna. Yellow card for... I think that was a yellow card for... Stallion. Let's see the play again. Oh... So it seems like a yellow card for Finn McDaniel on that foul. A bit too strong on that touch. And now Davao Aguilas with the opportunity to put the ball in a good position here. They have the numbers. But do they have that quality? That's the one that they've been asking for from the start of this game. And we are waiting for it. Makakuwala na isang goal ang Davao dito. Things will really change over the next 25 minutes. One goal can make that difference to change the complexion of that game. And yun, talagang they're putting numbers in the box. He's gonna put it in. Let's see if they can get it in. Short ang free kick ni Paolo Bugas. So babalik ang bola for Davo Aguilas UMAC FC. Yeah, not the height that they were actually looking for, unfortunately. Pero... Nasa kanila pa rin ang bola. And we have a stallion player on the ground. 
That's Namura, but he's going to get back up. Here's the delivery inside the box for OJ Clarino. Marvin Angeles. Oh. oh. So close. We could see what he was trying to do there. He was trying to put it away from the reach of the keeper, but unfortunately, it also got away from the net. Kala ko malalaglag yung mga buti kinakakapit sa ano sa crossbar eh. Hindi, hindi. Hindi naman mabot. Sumobar ng konti. Lasito with a clearance towards the path of Forosuelo. And Gubalio gathers the ball for Davao. Davao still trying to utilize players on that side but they have opted to change direction here starting the play from the back again ngayon nasa kanan na naman ulit sila trying to find that pass into the final third pero hindi nila makita they have to go back to the defense again tama ka dyan Glenn at habang nagihirap ang Davao Aguilas yung Mac FC dito at nagihirap din akong ilabas tong boses na to yung kaibigan natin na si David De Bella nagihirap na rin sa so, napapanood niyang ginagawa ng Davao especially all the other Davao Aguilas UMAC FC fans na alam mo yun they, they have the, the manpower they have the capabilities of doing so but the quality of Stallion Laguna FC really shows that they are AFC Cup ready but can Davao challenge that? Well, not this time. Placito clears the ball out. Inaanap si Ivanovski. Well, and here's, here's Davao now. Tuason couldn't get the pass through. Pero babalik ang bola kay OJ Clarino. Kurt Talarok, magdadala ng bola ngayon para sa Davao Aguilas. Yumak FC, babalik dito sa likod. Furusuelo now with their team captain, Richard Talarok, ball is out. Throw in once again for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. This is the one that I'm telling you right now, that they're starting to get a little bit more persistent. They really want to push through into that final attacking third. Yun lang talaga yung chance nila para makakuha na isang magandang shot. That single shot could change the complexion of this whole game if it goes in. Foul against Davao. Or foul against Stallion rather but if you're Stallion Laguna FC 68 minutes into this game you're gonna love what you're seeing kasi nakikita mo yung yung pinapakita ng Davao increased level of attack pero yung consistency ng backline ng Stallion Laguna FC is still there just to prevent yung mga atake nitong Davao Aguilas Yumak FC yes and not to mention Stallion is not parking the bus right now they are just as lethal on the other side of the pitch making sure that Davao stays on their toes Bogas with the delivery inside the box Pepito and I think I just think that's the first time Pepito has been forced to punch the ball out for a corner not a simple save this time around but yes it's definitely going to give this corner Davao to take it we have movement in the box Bogas inside the box just curling out for the goal kick here it is again it was really close though had it been a little bit uh, to the right it could have actually gotten to a chance And the referee is calling the uh, is calling for medical attention here. Looks like merong uh, gas gas ng konti dito si Finn McDaniel on his right uh, leg. Let's see. Pero abang iniintay natin no, na mabigyan ng uh, medical attention tong si Finn. Sino sino ba yung mga pwede nating shoutout dito? Uh, Coach George Kuriyama, Dennis Unabia, uh, Fitch, Hans, Cosmos, Arbeleda, K. Altamia, and ang dami na nanonood sa atin. Oh. Eric Manlapas, uh, Peter Evasco, Emil Pellezer. And looks like a substitution is happening here. It looks like uh, Finn McDaniel's night is done. And uh, in place, looks like we're going to have Koichi Belgira. Ang simple ng concern ni Coach Ernie. Alam mo yung tatay na naghihintay lang sa labas. Anyare. Anyare. 
Yan tanong ni Coach Ernie sa anilang pizyo dito sa nangyari kay Finn McDaniel. Yun lang yung naririnig natin eh. Sobrang simple lang ni Coach Ernie. Ano? Nangyari. Ano nangyari? Well, Coach Ernie is definitely managing a great team here. AFC bound and now dominating this Davao-based team. Well, they have to. They have to show that they are ready for AFC, especially knowing yung mga side na mga kalaban nila. They have the A-League champions on their side. They have Bali United. They have Terangano, Terangano FC. So it's not an easy group to get out of. Uh, pretty much experience-wise, Stalin FC would need some improvement. True. But that's the reason why they're there, to gain the experience that they're looking for. But you know, that also puts us in a good position to finally gauge ourselves again because I think uh, we haven't had Asian football in a while. So we've been out of touch with our neighbors. Hopefully, we are still in uh, fighting distance. We are still in attacking range with them. Foul on Davao Aguilas FC. And that's also one of the reasons why the Philippines Football League is growing in the country. For this edition of the AFC Club competitions, we have three participating teams from the Philippines. Two in the AFC Cup with Dynamic Herb Cebu FC and Stalin Laguna FC and then Kai FC Luilo in their second run in the AFC Champions League. Yeah, and speaking of Kaya, they have been steamrolling the competition so far just as a show of force making sure that they are AFC ready. But Stallion, on the other hand, doing the same thing on their end of the pitch as well, making sure that they're ready for the challenge that's coming. Nomura, inanap dito si Nyera sa kanan. Nyera is with a, with a cross. There's a deflection. Mapupunta kay Nomura ang bola. Still, with Nomura, makukuha ngayon ni Filonko. Filonko, through pass para kay Nyera. Nyera gets a deflection. They're asking for a handball and Gubalio clears it out. For a corner. Ang sabi ng ating uh, first referee. From our vantage point, it looks like Gubalia just got on it on time. The referee saw it going out, so it's going to be a corner. Could have gone in that one. But Gubalia making sure that uh, Davao Aguilas is still in this game. They have to survive this one too. Ooh! That was a close one. There was a headed effort into goal, but Gubalio was able to. Let's see the replay. Yes, nice reflex action from the goalkeeper. But then we end up with another corner. And Gubalio again, diving, and now counter attack time. For Davao Aguilas FC, Cartolarok starting the run. Pero hindi nakuha yung pasa papunta kay Paolo Bugas. Paolo Bugas was right there in the open. All he needed was that good pass and he had plenty of space to go. Grabe naman, Gubalio. Buhay na buhay ang uh, Davao Aguilas defense dahil sa kanya ngayon. And they have to get inspiration out of Gubalio. Out of all the attacks that the Stallion is bringing in, siya yung final line of defense and he's making sure na kayang-kaya nilang kunin yung bola. Well, if I were a Stallion player, this is definitely frustrating because we should have been playing on, we should be putting on the pressure, we should have been uh, adding on to the goals. Checking the replay. There with a fantastic save from Gubalio, making sure that it never gets into the goal. Stallion with the ball again. If ever Davao Aguilas Umag FC can produce something out of nothing out here and surprise Stallion Laguna FC, no doubt. Oh! Oh! oh. And that would be a goal. Looks like the referee has called it. And again, a hat trick. Yuta Nomura with the hat trick. Grabe naman yung commentators curse na yun. We're about to say that if Davao can mount a comeback out here, but it seems unlikely now with Stallion scoring their third goal of the match and a hat trick for Yuta Nomura. This is what I've been telling you. 
If, uh, if you allow Stallion Naguna to build up that momentum, they are going to steamroll you just as well. So we thought Davao is going to mount a comeback. They still have about 15 minutes to do so. But it's going to be a mountain to climb as high as Mount Apo now. Well, this is definitely not the night for Davao Aguilas fans. It's turning into a goal fest for the opposition. And I think, Glenn, you mentioned one of the key... Um, Oh, pasensya na. <laughs> Babalik tayo. Glenn, you were talking about the keys to victory for Stalin Laguna FC just earlier on in this game. At nakita natin, Stalin Laguna maximizing their chances on the counter-attack. Doon na naman nila nakuha yung goal na yun. Yes, it was really quick. It was... Uh uh, the, uh, they never gave Davao uh, Aguilas the opportunity to uh, position up to be able to stop that attack. And the yellow card has been issued here. Just waiting for the specifics. Davao to take the free kick. And in our comment sections, Glenn, no? one proud Stalin Laguna FC fan in John Rabelas. Lakad matatag daw. Mga, di ba? Lakad matatag talaga ang Stalin ngayon with three goals to boot, 13 minutes remaining, and still making Davao Aguilas UMAC FC question themselves. Paano ba namin malulusutan yung final third nitong Stallion? And this is where a strong defense comes into play. It's not just the strong offensive that's happening here. Da uh, Stallion was able to come uh, with solutions to every question that Davao has been giving. Quick free kick for Davao pero makukuha ulit ng Stallion. So far, Stallion has been able to answer everything that uh, Davao has been throwing at them. And at the same time, on the other end, three unanswered goals. And that goes out. Three substitutions coming in for Stallion Naguna FC. Maximizing all of the players that they can bring into the table. Chansey, uh, or Chansey. Charlie Beaton will be coming in. Chansey, because he's been yung Charlie at Yancey. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, Zachary Ford coming in as well as Jorel, Mr. FIFA Aristorenas. No? Shout out to mga kaibigan natin sa esports community ng uh, FIFA. Uh, dito sa Pilipinas Jorel of course part of it a uh, two time champion in the PFF uh, e, e, uh, e trophy uh, or E tournament diba? very nice looks like uh, this may be a sign of Stallion uh, trying to slow things down a bit here putting in their firepower for more midfield power I think they're going to try to hold the ball more in the middle now well, don't get them wrong Medyo attacking-minded yung mga pinasok ni Coach uh, Ernie Nieras, especially with Jorel Aristorenas. We've seen him uh, play with the uh, UCFC before. Now he's with Stalin Laguna FC. And he's more of an attacking-minded midfielder and uh, a flashy one at best. Kasi medyo dribbler itong si uh, Jorel Aristorenas in a good way. He knows how to maneuver himself away from the defenders and towards the back line, no? Pa pass the final third ng defense, ha? Ganun naman talaga dapat kapag dribbler ka. You're supposed to get the ball through the defense and not away from them. May pinapatumaka ka ba? <laughs> Wala naman siguro. Zachary Ford, the may ball, ha? Parang isa Stalin na go na FC. Makukuha ng Davao. Davao trying to make the most again on the left side. Troy Limbo against his former team captain. Matt Nieras, babalik ang bola dito. Pero hahanapin nila si Richard Talarok sa harapan. 
Abe Placito clears the ball out, sends it towards the midfield. You can really see the confidence that Stallion has with their center back. They're able to put more players onto the midfielder that has the ball, and they are able to anticipate the pass that's going to happen when they try to block that player. Zachary Ford was taken down, but play goes on for Davao now. Yannick Tuason, can he start a counterattack for Davao? Just couldn't find the opportunity on the left side. Nandito si Troy Limbo asking for it. And now Abraham Placito will clear it out only as far as Richard Talaro. Talaro ngayon na may bola. Pumunta tayo dito ngayon kay Paolo Bugas sa kaliwa. Bugas contra Nieras. Bugas with the cross. And into the hands of the goalkeeper. Grabe yung flashback. Kung nakita ko nagtapat yung Bugas tsaka yung Nieras. Nieras parang bumalik sa UAAP with FEU and Lasalle. Ah. Kung di ako nagkakamali. <laughs> Talagang yung typical FEU fan in you is awakened again. Hindi naman. Yung pagiging follower lang natin ng sport. Ah. Even from uh, club football, amateur football, and collegiate football, di ba? Of course. Football is beautiful at every level. So, player is down right now for Davao, and that's OJ Clarino. Well, he has been uh, making the most of himself at the defense and at the offensive end as well. This is an opportunity for the players to take a break while they're waiting for uh, what's to happen here. And the rain is really pouring again. So, baka na naman magkaroon na naman ng mga opportunities na ano, hindi usually nangyayari pag tuyo ang field. And I think there will be plenty of substitutions for Davao Aguilas, Yumak FC waiting in the wings for them. Hindi ko nagkakamali yung seeing Axel Andres preparing on the touchline as well as Rendon Cielo. Ito na ang substitutions for Davao Aguila. And like what we said, Three substitutions right now for Davao Aguilas. Yumak FC Shellos coming in, replacing Kart Talarok. With seven minutes left to play plus stoppage. Or rather, yeah, seven minutes. So do you think Aguilas could still make something out of this with the substitutions that they're making? Let's see. Romel Catarini is also in, replacing OJ Clarino. And then Axel Andres will be replacing Marvin Angeles. So like for like substitutions right now for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. And it's gonna be an attacking one. Putting in another forward, another attacking midfielder for Davao. Ito na yung tinitignan natin na baka, baka springboard to a comeback for them. As long as hindi mangyayari ang commentator's curse, yes, it might be a possibility right here. Ay, huwag na natin manggitin. Tignan na lang natin ang mangyayari yan sa laro. Davao Aguilas ang makakakuha ng bola. Andres with his first touches of the ball. Pressure from Stallion. He was able to mount a counter-attack now, but they opt to go back again. Players waiting in the middle. Aristorenas ngayon na may dala ng bola. Babalik kay Bonangkin. 1-2 is not there for them. And now a chance for counter-attack. Bugas against his teammate, Tuason. Pero dadalin sa kanan ng bola. I think there was Limbo on the other side. Switches from left to right is Limbo. A strike past oh. Pepito. Just hitting the side netting for the former Stallion Laguna FC Wonderboy. That could have been that could have been that one. It had the power. It almost had the accuracy. Just, but a, just a little bit off a few centimeters away from the hands of Pepito and into the side netting. The story could have been very different. Oh! That was a missed time by the goalkeeper who has been having a, well, a mixed night right now. He's being a good defense when it comes to uh, the, uh, most of the attack that Stallion has been putting against them. But 
the three goals is really telling a different story here. Well, too much for being a sweeper keeper dun sa part na yun of uh, Gubalio, no? almost paying the price. It's a good thing the defense was able to cope. Stallion again with the interception, pero makukuha nila ang bola. Davao will have a free kick. Davao is still not saying game over right now. Looks like they are going to push it. Five minutes remaining. Bugas ang may dala ng bola para sa Davao. Switches to the right side. Two players there wearing white. But the ball goes out past the line and it's a throw in for Stallion. Davao making sure nothing comes of it, making sure they can mount a counter attack right now. Andres. Nahana pampasa kay Bu or Limbo, pero lala ba bola para sa goal kick? And they're not gonna like this. Time is not on their side. It's not the time for them to, you know, waste those passes. Communication error. They really should be talking to them more. This is the time that they really have to go for it. Don't make those doubts. Keep the runs. Stallion making a run of their own on the right side. Dava was able to thwart that attack. But Stallions will be back again. Plus, ito ngayon na may dala ng bola para sa Stallion FC. And with about three minutes remaining, we are expecting about two or three minutes to be added on uh, to the stoppage time with the substitutions and the injuries and all that kind of fouls as well. Well, we have some movement on the Davao bench right now. Looks like they're going to be swapping out two more players. Is this coach uh, Bear throwing everything but the kitchen sink right now? Seems like it, but they will have to wait for those substitutions to come in as Stallion Laguna FC have possession once more. Stallion is keeping the ball. They're not in a rush. They're not in a hurry. If they can't see an opening on that side, they just push it back. But now, looks like they found something. Players in the middle. Filong ko ngayon na magdadala ng bola para sa Stallion. Dadalit sa kaliwa for Quich Belgira to use. Belgira nagahanap ng papasaan. He won't cross that ball. One, two. Gets the ball again is Kuichi Belgira. Babalik sa likod. Bonanken. Placito. This is what one or two years of a program will do to you. Stallion Laguna FC staying composed. Hindi sila ganito dati. They're gonna force the issue. They're gonna force the attack. But this time around, pag walang chance they're just going to go back. Oh! And that was almost another chance. They could have scored a fourth goal here. It was just inches, inches wide and a little bit too high, but the power was there. Kamunti ka na naman mga score ang Stalin Laguna, but we'll have substitutions again. Two like for like changes for, or actually not like for like. It's going to be Yannick Tuason. He's playing in the midfield in the right winger role. Papalitan ng forward na si Elwine Dalam. And then we'll have Fofana Johan coming in. He's going to replace Villarreal. This is it. It's do or die time. I don't know what, uh, how, much, uh, how many minutes we can still have here, but would it be enough with all the substitutions and all? A minute and change remaining in this game. We're just waiting for the confirmation of the stoppage time. So, gaya nga ng mga nangyari no nakaraan, even in the uh, 2022 World Cup, in the Women's World Cup this year, lahat ng stoppages are being taken into account at idinadagdag sa final time or sa added time. Yeah, will we be seeing something like seven minutes? <laughs> I don't think so. We might see about four or five. Yun. There we go. Confirmation of four minutes of added time in this game. That's enough for Davao Aguilas to at least uh, get something out of this game. 
Speaking of war, 44 is a magic number now for the Philippine women's national football team who is consistently on the rise. Tuwantas na po ang ating mga Filipinas, their highest ranking ever at 44, second in Southeast Asia. I think third. Second actually ngayon kasi Vietnam is ahead of us in the standings and then we're second but we'll have to confirm. But nevertheless highest ranking for the Filipinas who had the great showing in New Zealand in the World Cup. Oh yes. Plenty of memories in New Zealand. Oh, yan, yan. So four minutes remaining in this game. It's crunch time. Crunch time for Davao Aguilas, UMAC FC. Can they get a goal just for consolation or can they mount a miracle? It can happen, it's possible, but they really need to make sure they're not wasteful on the chances here. Just like that, Stallion Laguna has taken it back and now Stallion can put it again. Bonangkin. Nagiisip pa si Bonangkin, ibabalik ang bola, looking for options. Yeah, no pressure to score, but another one would definitely be a signature for them. And here's a strike, Gubalio is equal to it. Now they're asking for the players to go up. Now they send the ball forward for Dala. Mieras clears it out for a throw in. That was a really decent, uh, decent throw or a decent shot. Oh, sorry, pass rather. Sapal ngayon. Nasa palan si Sapal dun. Natakpan siya ng dalawang players. Yeah. Throw in para sa Stalin Laguna FC. Charlie Beaton, great pass to the path of Zachary Ford. Still with Zachary Ford. Zachary Ford twisting and turning past the defense into the middle. Looking for his teammates. A strike blocked by Fofana Johan. And a corner once again for Stallion Laguna FC. Let's take a look at that. Zachary Ford threading it to the middle. Felonco was just covered really well by Johan in that sequence. Desperation time for them, making sure that they can still have something out of this. But Stallion is definitely on the driver's seat here. So less than two minutes na lang dito sa ating laro. Here's the corner for Stallion. Placito tries to get his head to it. Cleared away by Davao only as far as Jorela Ristorenjas. Then Placito heads it to Quichi Belgira. Belgira taken down and a foul is called against Johan. Another good opportunity for Stallions. That is really close. Really close indeed. And then we have a free kick. I won't be surprised if Kuichi Bulgira will take this. He's the free kick specialist for Stallion Laguna FC. Gobalio making sure that his man is in position here. Placito takes it. Low one. Oh! Oh! And another goal has just been scored by Stallion Laguna. Adding on to the, the, the tally here. If Abraham Placito can score with his head, he's going to take one with a free kick. And let's take a look at that again. Abraham Placito found the opening on the wall and took that strike low and powerful pass. Gubalio. They were not expecting it to be taken that low, I'm pretty sure. And that is game, set, and match. Stallion Laguna FC with a commanding victory over Davao Aguilas UMAC FC by four goals to nil. What a show of force by the AFC bound team here. This is definitely something that they want to send out, a message that we are ready. A hat-trick from Nomura and to cap things off, a cherry on top of that very delicious cake. A free kick goal from Abraham Placito to close things out for Stallion Laguna FC. Glenn, your thoughts overall on the match between Stallion and Davao? Well, Davao really tried their hardest here. They had the effort. They had the numbers. They had the skill. 
they could have threatened. The only thing that was really missing was being able to unlock the defense of Stallion Laguna FC. On the other hand, Stallion has been at their best right now. They have been pounding and pounding and pounding onto the opposition goal. They made sure that they were able to take the chances that they have. And boy, we have seen a goal fest here. Well, this is what we have projected since the PFL teams came into the Copa Paulino Alcantara. In the second round, we've seen Kaya steamrolling past the opposition. And on the other group, Stallion Laguna FC, five, six goals in their first game and then four goals in the second game that they have now with six points and about nine in goal difference. I mean, right now, Stallion is on the run. They are a AFC Cup ready. They're showing everyone that kaya naming makipagsabayan, but this is just one of the tests that they were able to get passed off. And so far, it's been really good for Stalin Lagoon FC. If you're going to pick a player of the match, who's it going to be, Glenn? Who do you think? It's kind of pretty obvious from the start of the match here. Our hat trick hero. Yep, that is correct. That's Yuta Nomura with the hat trick, gets the man of the match award out here for the Copa Paulino Alcantara and we really are so happy with regard to the match that occurred as we take a look at some of the highlights as well Glenn Davao at the start of the match showed some promise Davao showed a lot of intention in attacks but when this goal came everything changed you can see the confidence there. They uh, they really haven't stopped the attack, but just right after that goal, the composure has been lost. The the momentum has gone over to the other side of the pitch, and although it was uh, uh, the ball was being dominated by Davao at times, Stallion was still able to keep the possession, was still able to mount on counters. They were able to score when needed, and that's what we have right here. Four goals to nil. Well, Yuta Nomura has been a revelation for Coach Ernie Nera since Stallion Lagoon FC getting his hat-trick, being in the thick of the action on almost every attacking play that Stallion Laguna has been mounting against Davao Aguilas Yumak FC. And he deservedly got that Man of the Match award with three goals. This one right here possibly sealed it for Stallion Laguna FC, but they didn't stop. They didn't put off their foot on the gas pedal. And they ended the match with four goals to nil. And in behalf of everybody here in the broadcast panel, headed by our direct Luis Manabat, our cameraman JC Montealegre, James Baldoviso, and everybody in our broadcast panel, headed by on the commentary, yours truly, Jamie De La Cruz, and our debutant, Glenn Casas. Congratulations on your debut. Congratulations as well to Stalin Laguna FC winning four goals to nil in this match of your 2023 Copa Paulino Alcantara. So long and good night. <laughs>